Welcome back to the Original Jones Broadcast Network. Today, we have a delicious dessert for you all. Today, we are going to be making peach cobbler. Okay. Today, I'm gonna to get started, and what I have here, I'm doubling my recipe because, of course, I wanna be able to decorate the top with um, some, you know, some nice designs for my pie crust. So today, we're gonna to start out with one and a half cups of um, vegetable shortening. Now, let me just say this. I have used the vegetable shortening that is buttered flavored. Um, I know you all know what I'm talking about. It's made by Crisco. And it's the butter flavored. I use half of that. And then I have Lando Lates butter. That is one of my favorite butters. Can you hand me that, Tavia? The butter behind you? And I'll show that to them. So I use one stick of this butter. And it'll give you the measurements um, of what it is, how much it is for one stick. I may have used um, one stick, a little over one stick of butter. But when you look at the measurements here, one stick of butter is a half a cup, okay? So what we need and our recipe is a half a cup of vegetable shortening. Since I am doubling this, then we added a half a cup of the butter, and then we did probably about a half a um, cup of the Crisco butter flavor shortening. And then we also have one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Well, of course, I doubled that. So now that makes us have three cups of flour, okay? Excuse me. Two. Yeah, three cups of flour. We're gonna do one teaspoon of salt and the difference with my recipe is i am adding milk into my recipe so the recipe usually calls um for just water but i'm adding milk to mine so we're going to do one cup of ice cold water and then we're going to do one cup of um milk and this is just regular milk okay so you all just come along with me while we get started with this okay all right, so I'm going to transfer all of this to the bigger bowl. This is actually my three cups of flour. flour. And that is all-purpose flour, you all. Okay, so we have our all-purpose flour. And this is three cups. To this, we're going to add our salt, which I already have it measured out, which is one teaspoon. And we're going to do, oh, I need a tablespoon of sugar, excuse me. So, we need a tablespoon of sugar because we want it to have a nice, oh, a tablespoon and a half of sugar. We want it to have a nice little, um, just a little pinch of um, sweet in there, okay? And then we already have our butter and our shortening, Crisco shortening. We already have that cut it up. It is cold. And so what we're going to do, we're going to add it in here. All of our butter. Okay. And we're going to cut this into the flour and then we'll begin to add our water, okay? So let me just push this out of the way and these are our next two ingredients that we have to add. So we're just kind of cutting this in here, okay?
we need it and we're going to actually take and put it back into this bowl and we're going to get it into the refrigerator so that it could actually set up and get cold okay so you all give me a few minutes and we're going to come back bring you all back it's going to get in the refrigerator to get cold for about 15 minutes and then i'll bring you all back and roll the dough out and we'll go to the next step okay okay y'all so if you can see i have actually opened my peaches we had the sliced peaches that are 13 ounces, I or 29 ounces, excuse me, which is one pound and 13 ounces, and I used two cans of these. You see, I separated my peaches from my juice, and there is a reason that I did that, because of course I don't want it too liquidly. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and start making our filling for the pies, okay? So that is the next thing that we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and take our peaches, well, first we're gonna go ahead and melt our butter, okay? So let's get let's go to that part. Okay, y'all. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna turn on our stove. We're now preparing our filling to go into our pie crust shells. Okay, so we have one and a half um, sticks of Lando Lake butter. Okay, one and a half sticks. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in. And the reason we're using one and a half sticks is because we have all of those peaches. My husband basically told me that the last time I made peach cobbler, he was like, okay, it was good, but it didn't have enough peaches. So I'm like, okay, so the next time I got you, bro, I got you. <laughs> yeah, so the next time I said, I've got you, don't worry. I'm going to make sure enough peaches is in here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and allow that to melt down. And I'm just going to turn my stove up a little bit. Now, we don't want our butter to burn, but of course, we do want it to melt down rather um, nicely, okay? Okay, so let's see how the butter is coming along. Oh, yes, it's melting down very, very good. So we're just going to let it do its thing, okay? So now we're going to add our peaches in to our butter which I told you this is a pound and 13 ounces. Just be careful so you don't burn yourself, okay? All right. So we have enough peaches in there. And so they're going to marinate with the actual butter that we have in here. And once this mixture gets, the peaches get warm with the butter and marinate a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add in our sugar, okay? So let me just let that go ahead and add in, or go ahead and marinate, excuse me. And, and do know that um, you can use frozen peaches, you can use um, fresh peaches, it's just all up to you. Um, today, I chose to use canned peaches, okay? And this is a recipe that I have been doing. I love it. And this is called peach cobbler pie, okay? I know some people, they'll take their peach cobbler and they will um, make it into a dish. Well, we're not gonna put our something into a long dish is what I'm saying. We're gonna have it into the pie form where you can just cut it out as a pie. Okay, so now we're gonna add in our one cup of white sugar well, we're gonna do half of that for right now because I want to taste it so we will just do half of the white sugar and we're gonna do all the half this is a half measuring cup of brown sugar okay and we're gonna let those um, marinate in with the sugar excuse me let the sugar marinate with the peaches and the butter so I'm telling you all this is going to be awesome do you hear me so we want that to come to a, not really a bowl, but we want that, that sugar granule to actually begin to cook and melt down in there, okay? That's what we're looking for. And I'm almost certain that I'm going to have to use that other, um, the rest of that, that white sugar, but hey, that's fine. I just like to do it this way so that 
we don't overdo it um, because you can always um, add in but you cannot take out okay so that's the reason that I'm doing this So now we're going to add in our, we're going to wait to add in our vanilla flavoring um, at, to, at last because of course we don't want it to be where um, it actually like cooks out or whatever. So the next thing we're going to do once that gets to the point that we want it to, we're going to add in some cinnamon, okay? We're just going to add in some cinnamon. But we're going to let that finish cooking down just a little bit. And as you can see on the camera, we have our ground, our ground cinnamon. So this is what we're going to be using in with our peach cobbler, okay? Our ground cinnamon. And we're going to use one teaspoon of this. I'm sorry, we're going to use a half a teaspoon of, of cinnamon in this because we have other um, spices that we're, we're wanting to use in here, okay? Okay, so that's coming along good. So now we're going to add in our cinnamon. This is our cinnamon, and we're adding in one teaspoon, okay? We just want that to stir that around and let that marinate in there, okay? That we're going to do is we're going to add in a little bit of cloves I don't know if you all like it and this isn't even gonna be one fourth teaspoon but as you can see this is our organic ground cloves okay we're not even gonna add in because this is a strong spice so we're not gonna add in all of this okay going to add in half of one fourth okay you don't want it to be overpowering but we want it to have a good flavor okay oh yes so this is cooking me turn it down just a little bit oh yes that is so good y'all y'all just don't know y'all just don't know all right, so we just added in our um, clove. We added in some cinnamon. And then, of course, we are going, and we may come back and do a little bit of clove. Okay, so that's the only thing that we're going to put in here is our, our cinnamon and our cloves, okay? And this is cooking down rather nicely. Let me just turn it down a little bit more. I'm going to give it a quick taste. Oh yeah, that is talking. That is talking, y'all. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add in a little bit of our vanilla flavoring, okay? We're going to do about a, one teaspoon of this. We want it to have a wonderful flavor. And the cloves and the cinnamon already puts the spices in it, okay? So it's already doing its thing. So... Let me just taste it and see if we're going to need the rest of that sugar. Okay, I think we can use just a little bit more of this sugar. Not all of it, but just a little bit more. That's why I say you have to kind of play around with it and decide what you really want to do, okay? And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add in our little bit of flour mixture okay so we're going to put a little bit of flour and water into this and we're going to bring it to um an actual let it thicken up 
because I like for mine not to be water build. I like for it to be thick inside of the um, going into the pie crust shell. So just okay. one of y'all. So we now actually we're going to add in our flour mixture about one tablespoon of flour with some water and we're just going to pour it right in there. Okay. And we want our we want it to actually thicken up. That's what we're wanting it to do. So we're going to keep stirring it, okay? Oh, yes. Yes. So even now, it's starting to thick up just a little bit, okay? Mm-hmm. It's so, so good, y'all. So good. So we're going to let it cook just a little bit to kind of cook that flour and it's going to bake in the oven as well so I'm just preheating my oven I forgot to do that we're going to put it on 350 to preheat it okay oh yes so this is good y'all let me just taste it Oh my goodness, y'all. This is off the chain. <laughs> it is. It is just off the chain. One other thing, special thing that I do put in here, and I need to show you all this, okay? Because this, and this is just one of my secret ingredients. It's not really a secret, but it's an ingredient that I always use when I'm actually, um, making certain dishes so you all are going to be surprised at what it is but it works wonders in this peach cobbler let me tell you so i'm going to show you what it is in a few minutes and um i'm telling you if you try it you will never go back to the original way of making peach cobbler okay So, our key ingredient or secret ingredient is lemon, lemon juice. Oh yes, yes, lemon juice. I'm telling you all, this is phenomenal. Just a little bit, you don't need much. Okay, so let's try that and let's taste it and see if that is going to be enough, okay? Let's see. So we, I think we can go ahead and turn this off. And I want you all to see how thick it is. Look how thick it is. And so can you imagine, when? You, and I didn't even have to add liquid to this, but as you can imagine, um, when this actually gets into the oven, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. Baby, that lemon juice, it offsets because it gives it a little bit of tartness and it mixes with the sweet and it just gives a phenomenal taste. I'm telling you all, a phenomenal flavor and taste. Okay, so we've turned this off and I'm going to pull it off of the um, heat and just let it do its thing. And then now we're going to get back to our pie crust shells and we're going to go ahead so we can get everything in and get this in the oven, okay? All right. Okay, y'all, so what we're gonna do is we have our dough here. We've let it got cool. We've let it got um, in the refrigerator and let it set. And we, we're spreading our flour out. And I'm thinking that I'm gonna need more flour than this. Um, but we're gonna start with that for right now. Somewhere. Well, anyway, we're going to start with this. If we need any more, then of course we will get it. So we want to spread it out really, really good because we don't need this pie crust um, actually sticking, okay? So it's nice and cool. And so this is my roller here. We got my roller and We 
we're just rolling it out, y'all. My mom and them used to do this. My grandmother. And you're going to get messy when you're doing this. I can tell you that now. You're going to get messy. We want it as about wide as this dish here, okay? That's about how wide we want it. So I'm kind of thinking that we already have it there, but I just want to make sure because you want it to be you want it to be rolled out, but you don't want it too rolled out, okay? All right, so we're gonna fold it like this. Get our pie plate, and of course I know that we had a lot of dough, but we can save this. Y'all can see, I'm getting it in there. You just want to push it down in there. And this is a beautiful crust, y'all. A very beautiful crust. One thing in order to get it like this is you have to, once you finish mixing it, you have to get it into the refrigerator, okay? So let me go ahead and cut the edges off. Just one minute here. Let me go ahead and cut the edges off. And then we're gonna make us some pretty edges, okay? We sure enough is. We're gonna make us some beautiful edges, y'all. Trying to get this. And we, we have some dough that is left, which is good. Cause then I can kind of decorate my top like I'm wanting to, okay? All right, good, good, good. We're gonna roll this out again because this is gonna be the top. Then we're gonna fold it like this, y'all. Because we want those thick, nice edges, okay? Oh yeah. And this pie crust can be done for apple pie, um, pear pie, blueberry pie, it, it's just all up to you. But the pie crust is excellent, okay? So, let's go ahead and get this. And I want to show you all how I'm going to crimp the edges because you want your edges to be very, very pretty, okay? At least that's how I like mine, okay? Alrighty, y'all, and this is so pretty, y'all, I'm telling you. This is kind of hard because I have nails here. But we're going to do it the best way we know how, okay? We're just kind of crimping the edges, if y'all can see that. Isn't that gorgeous, y'all? Isn't that gorgeous? We're going to keep crimping the edges. make sure my fingers won't stick into the dough so that's why I'm doing that As y'all can see, I'm just finishing up this. Oh wow, it looks pretty. Kind of messed up that edge there, but I'm not going to too much stress about that. Because I spaced it a little too close there. Just see if I can go here and kind of straighten this up. Let 
Okay, so that is, now this is my homemade pie crust shell. Isn't that beautiful, y'all? I'm just going to kind of pull in here a little bit, make it a little closer so you all can see it. But that is my homemade pie crust shell, okay? All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is you all remember that we had our, um, our actual um, our actual peach mixture and we're going to go ahead and um, get get it into the pie crust shell okay and then the next one that I'm going to do is I'm going to um, actually get our other pie crust shell ready okay and we're just going to dip it in there just like that and these are actually some deep pie crust shells, okay? Very, very deep. Oh yeah, so we're going to, these are very deep pie crust shells. And let me just tell you, I got these um, pie plates from Kroger's and um, they were actually on sale because you know sometimes Kroger's will do. Let me just get all of this in here. Oh wow, that looks so good, y'all. And so that's why I'm saying we're using all of the gravy and everything. This is going to be an awesome pie, y'all. Peach cobbler pie. We want to get everything in there, y'all. Everything. Alright. Mm. Wow, look at that, y'all. Just look at that. And it is delicious. Delicious. And it is a deep dish pie crust. You can't ask for anything more. Okay, y'all, so what, what, what I've actually did, we've got the pie crust and everything together. I've mixed a little bit of sugar and cinnamon together, and we're just going to sprinkle this right over the top, okay? Just a little bit. You don't need much because the pie is already um, sweet, but we're only adding this to rip for it to really crisp up that um, the actual crust because we like nice, crunchy crust, okay? And so that's really why we are doing this. Okay, and we just want it to get nice and brown. Now we're gonna get this in the oven, 350 degrees, and it's going to be for about 30 minutes, okay? And then we're gonna begin to check it and see how it's turning out because we don't want the top to um, burn, so. This is my peach cobbler pie. Let me go ahead and get it in the oven and then we'll come back 350 for 30 minutes and then we'll begin to check it. Okay, talk with y'all soon. Okay, y'all, so I am actually back and I'm about to take the pie out of the oven. Y'all, if y'all can smell my kitchen, y'all will be like, what is going on, Miss Jones? So I'm gonna actually take this out Ooh, let me put it over here. If you all could see this, look at that gorgeous peach cobbler pie. Oh my goodness, y'all. That is just so good. And I'm telling you, the crust is actually crispy. And um, it just looks phenomenal. 